My name is Gabriel Angels and I'm the head coach of RFC Football Academy. I'm working with RFC for the past uh, eight months and mostly with the youth teams. My work is very close from what is ahead of youth development. I'm developing teams from uh, under 13 to under 18, as I said. And I am a sports science degree, uh, but my main area of work is high performance. So basically, I'm in the correct place to do the work. Uh, in RFC, I'm working mostly the youth development, uh, under 13, under 15, under 18. Uh, coaching players, coaching coaches, developing a system, trying to make this much more close from the football academies that we have in Europe. Uh, my experience of, with, as a coach uh, started in 2011. Um, in that time I started coaching basic grassroots uh, academies, uh, teams, to lately start working some national under-17 first national division clubs. And after three or four years, I came to India for the first time. I started working one under 15 I League team. And after that, I moved it for uh, another area of work of sports science, that's a physical education area. I work as a head of sports and youth development, head of sports uh, in one international school in Bombay. And after eight months, I came to RFC. In RFC, uh, we have a lot of potential, mostly because we are working with kids from all India. And we are trying to make a system. Uh, it takes some time because we started from zero, but it's getting much, much better every day. Uh, from the coaches to the players, it's very hard sometimes, mostly because of the language, uh, mostly because the players come from a very different background that we are used. But still, uh, with good training, with the correct language, and mostly with the correct uh, methods, the kids are developing. Uh, I can tell you that we have teams here in the academy that are very close from the level that we have in Europe. Uh, kids are getting used, kids are getting uh, the same kind of football. Uh, one of the biggest problems that we have in India is that players are training in a very medieval way, let's say like this. Uh, players are not used uh, to understand football. They, like, people don't demand them to understand football. People just demand them to run, shoot the ball to the front. Uh, people want players physically strong, but people don't want players intelligent. Uh, and for me, intelligence is one of the main things of football. Uh, over here, you want every player to be like a small coach. You want every player to have the basic knowledge of football, from the tactical to the technical. We want players to make a move, understanding exactly why they are doing that. Um, it's been a very, very nice experience. That was a very nice competition that we played. Uh, we had one very, very strong team during the first phase. In the second phase, uh, it was a little bit harder, let's say, the challenge, but the team was there. And mostly the final showed what is the identity of this academy. Uh, starting, starting losing the game from, a th from 3 nil and coming back and won the, the match in only 30 minutes. Uh, it shows exactly what we are working with these players. We are working with these players. Uh, to they overcome any challenge and that's what exactly what they made. So it makes us all very proud uh, about, uh, about winning this trophy, not just because of the trophy, but because the trophy represents all the efforts of this academy during the past season. Well, players were very happy. Some of these players were the first time they were winning a trophy, uh, but they deserve it. Uh, so I feel like the main feeling they were having was a feeling of satisfaction because they literally deserve it all this.